What's going on guys? It's your boy Adjen back again for another Alchemy Stars video and for today it's the usual Should you summon video because tomorrow after the maintenance the 1.5 year anniversary will begin and we will be getting two new banners which, which will feature a Goldie and Big. So should you summon for Goldie and Big? First of all, let's talk about Goldie. Is Goldie a mass summon? In my honest opinion, Goldie is a mass summon. Why? It's because she has this tag of being a limited exclusive character. Yes, and being a limited exclusive character makes her that, uh, not be available in any other banners except for her, her own banner. Uh, if you want to wait for more or less 6 months to try and get her, then you can skip her. But if you are someone that uh, afraid of FOMO or fear of missing out, then yeah, I, I, I probably believe that Goldie is a mass summon. I will be summoning for her. Not because she is a mass salmon, but because of her legs. Yes. You know me, guys. You know me. As long as the waifu has a very beautiful legs, I will be going for them. Because I am a legs enjoyer. But rega with regards to gold this kit, gold this kit in paper seems pretty bonkers. And if you've seen her in the 1.5 uh, year anniversary live stream earlier, the showcase uh, for her skill set. She looks pretty damn OP in my honest opinion. That is what I get from uh, seeing uh, her in actual combat during the live stream earlier and by reading her skill kit. The ability to uh, make uh, rainbow tiles from enhanced tiles, any enhanced tiles, mind you guys, any enhanced, enhanced tiles, not only exclusive for uh, green, tile, green enhanced tiles, but for every enhanced tiles on the field, she can uh, manipulate those to be to become a rainbow uh, tile, which will give your team a lot more uh, connecting points, or and it will give your team lots of mobility because uh, connecting a lot of points or co connecting a lot of tiles will make your team uh, move freely on the field and also execute their uh, chain combos very very easily. That is what I'm getting uh, from her kit. And also, uh, she has a one-turn cooldown, which in my honest opinion, I believe that most of the one-turn cooldown uh, units does not need a dupe for them to have a preemptive strike. There is only one exception to that one. I forgot, uh, I, I forgot which uh, character has the one turn cooldown that has a uh, that still needs a uh, ah Lilica yes uh, I, I believe Lilica is the one that has a one turn cooldown on their uh, active skill but they need the uh, max BT for them to have the preemptive strike max BT or a uh, BT3 I forgot it's been uh, quite some time since uh, I've been uh, I've indulged myself in Alchemy Stars content so Forgive me for that one, but there is one one character that uh, that is uh, out of the question for that one. But most of the one turn cooldown characters like Azure, Plur, Betel, all of them have preempt in all of them have innate preemptive strike. So I am uh, hoping with my hopium that Goldie does not need a dupe for her to have a preemptive strike. If so, if she does not need a dupe for her preemptive strike then yes, yeah, she's really definitely a mass summon because units that has innate preemptive strike are really really strong really really powerful and also very f2p friendly because you only need one copy of them to be uh, to be fully good or to be fully usable you really don't need to upgrade their breakthroughs for them to achieve their their openness or their greatness we still don't know what are the breakthroughs for uh, Goldies and Big R. You, you still might want to wait for that one also in, when uh, the game will launch tomorrow. When the update will, li will get live. I will be doing my summons on the office in my work. Maybe if, the, if, if time permits, if there will be no extended maintenance. Because the maintenance ends during my uh, lunch break. So if there will be some, uh, uh, if there will be no extended maintenance, I will be able to 
do my summons there. And I hope that I can get Goldie. Another thing to note about Goldie is that she is a dedicated healer for the forest team. Which is really, really pog. If you, if you will argue that Geno is a healer, but no, Geno is not a really dedicated healer. So it's time to say goodbye to Uria if you've been abusing Uria as your uh, healer slave in the forest team. So yes, Goldie is a really, really good healer also. And healer plus the ability to manipulate tiles and the ability to get past, to run through the enemies. Because sometimes you cannot uh, run through the enemies because uh, the enemies usually block in your way. But with Goldie in your team, you can run past through them, which is pretty damn OP in my honest opinion. Giving your team lots of mobility is one of the best utility that you can ask for for a unit. And Goldie has that one. That is why I believe that Goldie is a mass summon. You may agree or disagree with me and it's fine. So take it with a big grain of salt. Now with regards to Bic, I've seen Bic's uh, showcase in the live stream earlier and I, I am surprised at uh, how much damage she deals because in the screenshot in the Alchemy Stars uh, website, the damage on the screenshot there are, are not uh, very convincing. Uh, it's very small damage. But when I saw the damage earlier in the showcase in the live stream, I was amazed at how, how good the damage is. So I am not gonna be downplaying Big. I, I might say that Big is a really really strong sniper in my honest opinion. The problem with Big being a sniper in the water team is that he has a lot of competition. That is my uh, that is my take on uh, Big. So if you are a Bando collector then you might want to Summon for big, he will be a mass summon for you if you are a Bando collector. Well, to everyone who are going to summon for Goldie and Big tomorrow, I wish you good luck. And may all our Jesus bless our summons. And I think that's it for me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time. Peace.